Okay, you guys, I have been very inspired lately um, to write another book. You know, it doesn't take me very long. As you've seen, I can do it in an afternoon. And as opportunities uh, to have more time open up, um, you know, um, I've been thinking lately of writing something that might not be bestseller material. It might not be initially captivating, but... For us sociology nerds, for us qualified sociologists, and for us survivors, and I do want to say that, survivors of the system as it is now, it is an important book. And I'd like to combine both autobiographical material of my survival of the system, as well as stories that I have collected from others, of course, with their permission into painting a bigger picture of um, hmm, the collective conscience of, um, of the system. How bigotry, revolutionary spirits, discriminators, profilers, opposing political havers, can shape your entire experience. Stereotypes, profiling, these are all illegal things, and yet in the system are the law, are the rule. There are some that wish to get narratives the way that they wish them to be written, and so we'll do anything, moral and moral, legal or illegal, advocacy recommended or not regardless of who is watching which is the scary part which really scares me in order to fit the narrative that they really want to fit why you could be only one time you could be on a program for a year and only be one day late of doing something and man They'll take your benefits from you. Three months, no food, no pay. Like that. Is that some right to you? What if the whole panel itself is of the very people that you're uh, talking about? <laughs> is that a jury of your own peers? No, it's not. Perpetrators or peers? There's some people that are really good. There's some people that are really amazing in the system. I have met people that have moved me to tears. I have had heart to hearts with some workers, for example, in California before I left. Oh, I have been moved by the moved by the behavior of some. I've sat there with a woman telling me she's an empath. We held a freaking rose quartz together. She's a beautiful Irish woman, um, full of full of just. Oh my god, so much bounty and beauty and wisdom. Moving person. I have watched people treat everybody with the correct mentality of treating um, their clients at an agency um, like clients. Hello, shakes hand. Uh, let me call out the first and last name on the list. Mr. Uh, Tom Smith. Hello, nice to see you again. Wow, what a difference. And I have seen coworkers who have become, not coworkers, I'm sorry, uh, system workers who have become downright friends to me. I've joked with them, we've talked about our personal life, we've um, had, a, had a, a laugh or two, had a social comment or two, who have taken great risks and will forever be noted in my reward system. Oh yeah. Um, for doing so. Oh, and I told them that too. I've seen beautiful things in the system. But these beautiful actions are often in opposition to the system itself. You have to be a bit of a rebel and a renegade to do a lot of good. A system shouldn't be built to do that. A system shouldn't be built to protect some rich guy's money elsewhere, some tax break corporate loophole protect their money and fuck over the poor. It's the antithesis of Robin Hood. 
It's the antithesis of revolution. And there's some people who very much promote anti-progressivism, who are politically biased. And I have seen it all, let me tell you. I feel like I've seen a lot, and I've heard of a lot of things. And so on this next book, I would like to talk about not only the autobiographical through stories and, and narrations to help illustrate a picture in a more personal tone, but also the sociology of how it came to be and how it doesn't have to be. Hmm. And how it can be so easy for just a simple phone call to change everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm watching. I'm not. I don't take these subjects lightly at all. Oh, in fact, I feel nothing but fervor. Not just for me. I've always felt it, even for people that aren't me. Even people who have sur survived are survivors of the system. It's like that. Survivors of the system. I've always felt a fervor, and honestly, I can't save everybody. I probably can't even save myself because people have it in their mind that certain people are just wrong or guilty before innocent, it's very obvious. Hmm. But what I can say is that I can do my best to illuminate the subject for others because there's so many people who have gone through so many things in this fucked up system. And I think it's time we look at where that's really coming from. We compare it to other countries and other systems. What does it, what is really the cost of poverty? Is it what we think? We really like to talk about these things. Where is the loss of everyone's funding and benefits? Is it from the poor? Really? Like, statistically? Did you just make it up? Is that just how you really feel? Is it truthiness? R really? Because if you look at the stats, it's just not there. So it's very much about mentality, and um, mm, 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 mm. and being that I'm a social psychologist or on my way, uh, you know, sometimes God hands you a mic, and sometimes you gotta say some shit and drop some shit. So. <laughs> That definitely seems like it's coming up, um, depending on, um, you know, time availability and all that. I would predict that likely I'll have another chapbook, probably not full length on this one, but another chapbook, somewhere between chapbook and full length, to sociologically discuss the systems at hand with pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for joining. I see now that a lot of you join this channel, even within the system. Yeah. Have a good night. I'm going to go take care of my child now. Thanks.